Welcome to the OhioFirst.net training module, What is FirstNet? In this module, you will learn about FirstNet, the FirstNet consultation process, including opting in and opting out, and what it all means for Ohio. The elevator pitch for FirstNet is easy. FirstNet is like a nonprofit cellular carrier that will provide service only to public safety. FirstNet's service will be separate from commercial networks so that first responders can count on it during any emergency. FirstNet is an independent authority within the United States National Telecommunications and Information Administration. Although FirstNet is technically part of the federal government, it works a little differently than most federal agencies. For example, FirstNet is required to be self-sustaining, but it still answers to Congress. That means that Congress can pass new laws to direct what FirstNet does. However, FirstNet has to generate its own revenue. To do that, FirstNet is authorized to charge user fees to fund itself. These user fees are like the monthly payments that you send to your cellular carrier. Conceptually, FirstNet is similar to the U.S. Postal Service. It is a federal entity that generates its own revenue but has to follow Congress's rules. FirstNet has a defined roadmap set in the law that directs what it must do before it builds the network. This process is called the consultation process. The law requires FirstNet to consult with each state prior to building the network in that state. FirstNet must also present each state with a state plan detailing how it will build the network in that state and what its business model will be. The governor of each state then has the right to opt into, or opt out, of the state plan. If the governor opts in, FirstNet builds and operates the core network and the radio access network. This means that FirstNet owns and operates the entire network. If the governor opts out, then the state must prepare an alternative plan to build and operate only its own radio access network meaning cellular sites, and backhaul data connection to the core. However, either way, FirstNet still owns and operates the core network. So, it is the same nationwide network regardless of whether the state opts in or opts out, because all sites are connected to FirstNet's core network. For example, if Ohio opts in, FirstNet builds a nationwide core network and also builds the radio access network in Ohio. If Ohio opts out, the state only builds the cellular sites and still uses the same nationwide core. Either way, for first responders it's the same. You are still on the same nationwide public safety broadband network. So, a political or economic decision to opt out won't affect the service that public safety users get. The network is still the same network, coast to coast, even if some states opt out. One very important thing to note, you are not forced to use FirstNet service. FirstNet has to earn your public safety's business by providing you with a compelling product. Otherwise, individual agencies can stay with their commercial cellular carrier. However, users that stay with their commercial carrier won't lose the ability to communicate with other users in the same state that are on FirstNet's network. Users will have built-in interoperability through agency networks even amongst users that are on different cellular networks or other users outside of their own agencies. For example, if a user moves outside of the FirstNet coverage area and roams onto a commercial carrier, they will still be able to access the same agency applications and services through their virtual private network, or VPN. This also applies to users that have not adopted FirstNet service and continue to use a commercial cellular carrier versus those who have moved to FirstNet. This applies if a user roams between FirstNet coverage, commercial carrier coverage, and coverage in an opt-out state. As long as a user has access to their VPN connection, they can still access their internal agency network and communicate with other users over the internet. FirstNet will also provide a basic level of interoperability with legacy systems as well, so long as participating user agencies are willing to connect to the network. For example, 
it will be possible to connect a gateway from a radio system, such as MARCS, to the FirstNet network. Agencies can then access that gateway through their VPN and have basic voice interoperability with MARCS users or other users on their own agency's radio system. To wrap up, FirstNet is a nationwide cellular carrier for first responders. FirstNet must complete a consultation with each state to build in that state. Each state can opt out and build its own radio access network. However, FirstNet and opt-out states build the same nationwide network together. FirstNet users will be able to roam onto opt-out and commercial networks. And finally, nobody is required to adopt the service. It is entirely optional.